Good morning, everyone. I'm sure you got tired of waiting on me. I'm sorry I'm late. Um, it's an invite to Kathy. All right, there we go. I'm waiting for people to get in here today, and we're going to, I think I'm gonna make another doll, and I'll work on my collage planner weekly, show you a few new things I bought, and um, go from there. Whew, out of breath. All right. <clears throat> Hi, Johnny. How are you? What time is your sales start today? Hi, Nancy. Hi, Helen. Hi, Dar. Hi, Gardening Artfully. Oh, I like your name. Sorry, I hear echo just one second. I'm bringing up on my phone. So I can watch there too. And there we go. Okay. Hi, Devin. Oh, you're coming on 11 30? Oops. Well, I, we used to come on at 10, so that's not going to be on 11.30. People can serve both streams, and it's no big deal. Hi, Cass. Hi, Pamela. Ooh, we got Echo. Hi, Linda. Oh, I'm loud, on, I'm loud now you came in. Make sure your volume's down. Oh, hi there. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Joan. Hi, Peggy. So, today, so I thought we were going to do is we're going to work on the collage planner weekly and together and for this week. And I'm also going to start on another doll. And I'll show you a few things I bought. We'll kind of go from there. So uh, I could show everything that probably would end up being a two hour stream just for showing stuff. So I got a whole bunch of goodies from Michelle Girly Girl. That was my biggest uh, group of things I bought thus far that I have. And I got a bunch of Tim Holtz stuff that new Tim Holtz releases. Um, I did start working on a little mini book of Tim's um, that I got. I had one already. But I hadn't done any with it, but I got uh, one this for the giveaway Michelle. So I did uh, start working on this. Hey, Colleen, do you want to put me off to the sides? Because I've got to clean up still a little bit. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. All right, turn on my light here so we can y'all can see better. All right. So hopefully it's better. Well, it's gonna have more glare, but at least it's more bright. So I want to show you uh, I did post this on Instagram. I'm sure uh Probably most everybody is, uh, is on Instagram and seen it, but this is my doll I made last week. Um, I finished her off stream, which basically meant, you know, I was stuffing her off stream and I did have to add more stuffing to her. Um, but it so, cause remember I had like the hole in the neck, so I had to keep, so that worked to my advantage. So I just kept stuffing her neck and, um, yeah, until I felt like I could get all the creases out. So 
Um, I like how this turned out. It's cute. It's fun. Uh, we did the, I think the only thing is in the back, I had a crease. So the issue I had was either I was going to have a crease in the front and her neck or I was going to have a crease in the back. If I stuffed it in here and made with no crease, then, then like if this has a crease, this is fluffy. If this has a crease, this is fluffy. Like I couldn't get the neck fluffy on both sides. It was so weird. So I finally gave up and uh, decided to just do just to make the front of her neck fluffy and not worry and not worry so much about the back. So just, yeah, that's what I decided to do because she was cute. It wasn't a worry about it. I did, you know, we, we glued the fabric onto the cardboard on the bottom to make her stand up and I was sitting on top of a cabinet. Good morning, Dot. Colleen and you don't her neck looks good I mean you barely notice anything in the back oh that's good because I was like well there's just like that one right there um, now, I didn't see it till you said something oh well, that's good at least it's not super duper no because you can still get the word um let's see I missed anything thanks Devin so I thought I would um Oh, did you come back on yesterday, Cass? Because I don't didn't see you come back on after we lost you. Hi, Tammy. Oh, hi, Joey. Oh, so Kathy's starting a new channel. What? She's gonna have she's gonna have another channel. She's doing a second channel. It sounds like it's gonna be a gardening channel. Whoa, <laughs> that would be nice. That's interesting. You're going to do another channel. Wow. She is. <laughs> Ellen, she's boho hee-haw girl. <laughs> that doll has more names. I like need Brian 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 Hay. Heidi Hay. That's what Roy <laughs> picked for her. Um, so she. Boho, hey, he haul. It is boho meets he haul. <laughs> Promise, Eileen. I don't think she's gonna leave if you don't say hi to her. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Eileen. Hi, everybody. I haven't said hi to anyone, so don't feel bad, Eileen. Hi, everybody. Okay, so you didn't get back on yesterday. Okay, because I was looking for the second stream and you never came back on. And I was trying to figure out if I, what if if you decided not to go on. You were almost done anyway, but I felt bad. So well, at least I know what happened now. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Um, okay. Oh, she's gonna do part two at one o'clock today. Okay. Okay. So we'll finish up by one. Hi, Patty. So I thought I'd make another girl. And my, um, my thought is with this girl, my inspiration is going to be, I really, I got two of these from Keisha's sale last year. And I have one on one chest with the with this girl. And I'm going to make a second one for this one. And what I liked about this uh, fabric quilty thing, I don't know what it is. I'm no quilting expert, but I loved it. And I didn't have to do this, which made it even better because I bought it this way. Is I like the oranges, uh, kind of oranges, the browns, the yellow. So I think I want to make um, another girl, but you know, in these color tones. So she matches the little skirt. Oh, that'll be cute. Yeah, because the other skirt that I have that I have her sitting on is red. You know, and so I have the pops of red on here with, with, uh, so she looks quite nice. I were sitting in the center of this on my table, so she looks quite nice with this. So I think I'm going to take the color cues, <clears throat> excuse me, color cues from this one and make it a girl in these color tones and have her sitting there. But that's what I'm thinking. Cute. Um, did you start it yet, your gardening channel, or are you going to? Oh, she already did. Gardening. 
Oh, so when you came in, I said hi to Garden Artful. That was you. She's tricky. Oh. I was like, I like your name. Okay, hold on. So Gardening Artfully, when you came in before, is your new name. Oh, good. Let's get her link. That's true. I mean, that's the other thing, too, I thought about, actually, Devin, is if I cut a hole and if I cut this, uh, cut it out to where, well, obviously, you have to leave the fabric um, on this little, well, you, you can kind of see, like, you can see the seam here where they're all attached. If I cut a hole on the interior part and left that, I could put this over her, right? And then, you know, but it's so big though, like it, it would, well, if you imagine, if the, I mean, it would consume her and then I basically wouldn't even be painting her, but it technically could be a skirt. But, you know, what's the fun of that? Right? So we could, if you cut this center out, you could drape it over her for sure. Okay, nothing on it yet. Okay. So I got some Tim Holtz things and I bought a lot of his new stuff. I really did like it. And um, I did get a few of his uh, new uh, fabrics. I'm waiting. The other ones I don't, I don't think I'm waiting for are not new. Um, I just, there, but I just, well, I just found them. Did so make good. those? Did Deb Farrell make those? Where did you get those, Colleen? Um, oh, the De uh, the Deb Farrell, did you make? I don't know if she made these. She said, oh, she said uh, you made this in the 70s? I bought this. I bought this from Keisha. I bought this one and the other one from Keisha. Not this month, um, but last month, say, I bought these from Keisha. Oh, that's so cool. And Keisha sells for, and Keisha sells for Deb, and she sells for some other people, too. And so she sends me... Uh, like I, I just said, pay her for what she sells of other people's, and she sends me the whole thing, and I didn't know who it was from. Oh, cool! That's fun. I she love this, Deb. So Deb made this in the seventies, and it's pristine. It's clean. It's nice. It's pristine. And um, I didn't know this was yours. How cool is that? And I was like, this, and this is why I liked it because it had this 70s vibe. So, of course, I love it. And I'm like, well, I got to use this as my base for my next girl. I guess that's cool. Thank you for selling this and sharing this with everyone. Deb Farrell has a ton of cool stuff. I bought a ton of stuff from Deb uh, at Keisha's sale she had the other day. Uh, I bought a ton of her stuff. I bought some um, we patterns for like uh, more to make more stuffed uh, like stuffed animals and stuff. And there is some. Oh, and then she had these uh, cards, and it was like four sets of cards, and everyone was was going crazy over them. It, they were then asking for specific colors and specific letters. It it got insane. I don't know how Keisha didn't just didn't lose it i was losing it and i wasn't even doing it so i don't know how all i say is that girl has got patience so much patience uh it got insane and deb and deb's in chat and she's like i'm just over here i'm just over here crocheting all innocent you know i'm just over here crocheting while she's in there like I want this and this letter and this color and this cross stitch and this number and these coins. Oh my God. That group of cards took, I know, over an hour for her to sort. <laughs> oh, wow. it, was, it was insane. I don't know how she had the patience to do it. I would just meant, screw it. None of you are getting any. <laughs> so it, was just, it was bad. It was so bad. Everyone loved them. I was basically fighting over them. I, I mean, it was like a punching ring. Everyone was fighting over those cards that Deb sent. Uh, what kind of cards out. were they? I missed that. What kind of cards? It was late. That's why. Uh, oh. They were uh, cross-stitch cards. 
oh. math cards and coin cards, like oh, playing cool. cards. And there was this big fight. Oh my God. It was just people went this and that. And then it was gone and they wanted this. And then, like, oh my gosh. <sighs> I was like, at five, before it even ended, I had to get out and take some Advil. Like my head was hurt. <laughs> That's funny. I had was hurting. I was like, I was like, I got to take some Anvil. Yeah, people um, get crazy at those sales. It, it got nuts. <laughs> yeah, Deb said to throw them in the ditch. <laughs> and someone else came in later about the cards, and she's like, nope, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. They're the garbage. They're gone. Well, they're not in the garbage, but they're gone. <laughs> and I was like, oh, God. It was, it was insane. Everyone loved them. Everyone wanted them. Everyone wanted specific ones. It was it was the it was the craziest card if sale the card selling thing I've ever been to because Deb found some cool unique card playing cards that no one has ever seen. So everyone went crazy. It's all Deb's fault for finding cool playing cards because yeah we could use them in our junk journals. We can use them. You know, uh, you can paint on them or whatever your heart's content. So, oh, nice. Fabric. Isn't this pretty? This is not all of it. This is part of this collection of fabrics. And I don't know if this is new or not new. I honestly won't say because I really don't know. But I loved about it is, is the fact that, that is this the Tim Holtz fabric? It is Tim Holtz fabric. Wow. Hi, Carla. Hi, Kim. Let's see anyone else. Oh, hi, Jersey. Oh, you were there. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, those cards are awful. We'll, we'll never do that again. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Jersey. My heart was breaking that all night. Okay, Carla says so she has that paper collection. They all you is this is what paper collection is this the wildflowers or something else? She's cleaning out 50 years of stash a little at a time. Wow, Deb. Fifty years of stash. I didn't know that. So every month you're sending her part of your 50 years of stash. She has, I mean, she definitely had a, a large assortment of stuff, and it's never uh Stuff uh, never boring, does for sure. She, um, but she usually Keisha. You, I like this has tickets. It has uh, Keisha sells her stuff at usually late in the evening, so you got to be a night owl, which I'm good with because I am a night owl, which is why I changed my streaming time. Um, I like this because it has the, it looks like school paper, report cards, you know, I can't remember what these are called. Um, it, it's just, a, it's a, it's really pretty. And I thought this would be fun, uh, fun fabric for spring um, to make something with. And this is the other, this I got at Etsy, but Amazon does have uh, his new, this fabric, the whole pack, uh, all of them, like a fat quarter of all of them on Amazon, which I saw later. I was like, oh, well. Um, this one's cute because this one has, this is like, he. I know he has some, uh, some of these remind me of his stamps. I mean, this would, and uh, with the nibs. Um, you know, I love that fabric. Ledger paper, uh, receipts. It's got the fancy handwriting. It's just a, a really pretty collage. And I love this. This is like, you know, paper that's been scanned and fabric patterns and all all made together. It's like paper and fabric together. And I love paper. And I'm beginning to love fabric more and more, which I don't really need to want to. I shouldn't because it's just more I got to find room for. <laughs> so and organize. This one. Um, I, I've been actually I'm sorting through all Amy's stuff right now and breaking up her stuff. She she is between the uh, this one's really neat with the grids with the fact that there is bags and glassine bags and envelopes and tags and cards. And I'm actually just I finally like 
just kind of grouping the the papers together, the bags together, the envelopes together. Um, I like, yeah, I'm just trying to sort through. Amy gives you so many different varieties, but I, I want to like, they keep them together by color. I decided to break them up by like items. Oh, so hopefully you'll use them more? Yes. Yeah, I, I was wondering about that because mine's by color now too. And I think, so I decided to break up all Amy's paper packs by items. And because there's glassine bags, there's paper bags, there's envelopes, there are tissue paper, big, large paper, regular paper. And then there's the, the other stuff, the, the other things that she'll throw in, which is like, you know, um, ledgers and she'll throw, you know, mix in other fun papers too. And then I kind of have those together. So I've actually been doing it. So I want to start using all my Amy stuff here. They, this is the, if you look, they actually put, I like guess stain on this here. It's really light, but there's a stain here and here to make it look like it's been uh, it's vintage by staining the fabric, which I thought was interesting too. I sure does correspondence. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, I will not judge you for spelling. Oh, me either. <laughs> This is the uh, Tim Holtz Elements and says memorandum. This fabric is designed to have a distressed appearance. So basically people freak out and go, oh, it's got stains on it. It's, it's made that way. This one's uh, neat with the pinstripes, the sewing patterns. You can see all the, um, there's some, all the like little stains and stuff they put on it. So, but the nice thing is it's faux stains. So it's clean. <laughs> it's clean. Yeah. It's, oh, clean. Like that. it's like mattress ticking, right? Yes. It is ticking. Cool. And I like they put the sewing pattern on the ticking. And then this is uh, two more. I think there's like 10 or so in a group. This is half of it. This is half of that group. And this one is again has the the like the the, the tea the tea staining the it has some print. I don't know if this was old wallpaper. I'm not sure. Okay, Deb says she sorts almost everything by color because that's how she uses it. Also, Helen wants to remind everybody our more fabrics will be closing temporarily um, for about a week or so. So if you need to order anything, do it by Sunday. I have some stuff sorted by color, like uh, brads, um, like little doodads. Like I have little doodads sorted out by color. I did sort all that out by color. But I have all my crown paper together of Amy's. And then I put the, I took all the packs and I paper clip the colors together but i decided was i wasn't using all the cute little extras that she puts in them and i decided that i would use it more if i put it separate from the paper because i that way i don't have to look through the paper to find to remember that there's envelopes and stuff so this one's really neat. So this one's got some math equations. You uh, you can see the little parcel. I think this is a this is like a receipt. Sorry, here's a like a math lesson. There's um, a little stamp. Uh, wash. Okay, this is a washing machine, like a little washing machine ad. And over here, you can see it's got all the like cool, the cool faux staining. It says elementary art, slate and blackboard exercises. I just like that. And then over here, he's got some of the stripes of that. And then this is supposed to look like little rusty, little rusty elements. And it's nice. This paper is really nice. I like it. Or paper. So I'm calling it paper because it's all paper put. It's paper put onto fabric, basically. I'm calling it paper. See, I, don't I didn't know. get any of the fabrics, but they're really cool. Yeah, they have the, they, and I got a solid group of fabrics. 
that I'm waiting for. It hasn't arrived yet. So okay. I think it's a solid group too. So, so do you all those come in one pack? Yeah, I got all these in one pack okay. from eBay, or eBay, uh, Etsy. But Amazon has all of these. There's like, how many is in here? One, two, three. Four. Okay, I'll get a link. I'll get a link for the pit, for the fabric. This is a little. This is actually a laptop stand. Nine. And I use I think it. I think it's eighteen. All together, nine. Nine of the eighteen. Okay, it's a laptop stand, and I use it to put books on, and it kind of it takes away the glare from my light. Okay. So. So yeah. I, I'll look for the link. I started working on uh, this book. I got my stuff from Michelle and Michelle Girly Girls Auction, and she does. Um, uh, you know, she makes her own papers. She sews. She sews little little, uh, little trims and all that stuff. And you know, one of the cool things I got from her was this. It's like a, you see this. Why well, I look orange? I'm not that orange in real life. Um, you can see it is, it's like a ribbon and it's stamped. Isn't this cute? And it's on this vintage spool. I love this. This is one of the things that got from her. She's going to get some, she was going to, I don't, I'm sure she's, she was going to make some more ribbon for people without the spool because she didn't have any more spools but look how cool this is isn't this awesome and i got this from from her this i thought was so freaking cool it's very vintage it's it's age it's got all these i hope i got some of them i haven't gone through mine yet he did all that stamping. Like all, everything's different. There's no repeat. There's no repeat at all. You hope you get yours today. No, I got it. Okay, you got something. You said it was an envelope. Yeah, I got it. I just haven't opened it yet. <laughs> so I'm hoping I ordered that. I thought you did. I thought you got it, it, but you didn't get the spool. You got the um, you got the fabric. So every Everything that's stamped, on, I didn't even roll it all out. Everything that's stamped on here, she did. It is no duplicates, you know, like with normal one. And then this was really cute. So this is like an old spool. And she made these snippet rolls. Look how cute. So there's the fabric. You can see the fabric. And then she made snippet rolls with pieces of lace. And um, I can't remember what these are called. Everybody knows that they are. They sell the people sell those too. But and it's all stitched and glued, so that was neat. So I got that. Now this is stiffer because she might. I think she might have used some glue, That's right. glued it all down, yeah, and then stitched on lace and stitched on top of it. But it's pretty cool. So those were the unique things I got from her. And I also then, of course, you know, I I'm am very obsessed with her paper. I don't anybody else who's come in that we have yeah. said hi to. For her paper. Her paper. Um, she's Connie, did board. you get this at Simon Says Stamps? Get what it Simon Says Stamps. Hi, Elmaris. Get what it Simon Says Stamps. Okay, now... Colleen couldn't hear me last week. Now I can't hear Colleen. Okay. We hear you. Okay. So Eileen's waiting for her Michelle order. Let's see. Hi, Gail. See if there's anyone else I missed. Okay. Make sure if I miss you, I'm sorry. So Michelle makes these beautiful papers. I'm addicted to paper, of course. And this paper she she makes, she uses some laces. Can you hear me now, Colleen? Yes, I hear you. Do you hear me? Okay, she's gonna leave and come back. She can't hear me. Wow, that's the issue I had the other week. 
so weird. And so she said in April, she's going to make, she only had a, a few paper packs to sell. And then April, she's going, look how crunchy it is. I love how crunchy it is. She's going to make more when the weather is better. She's going to make more, a bigger group of papers, and she's going to make more folders. So she promised she's going to do that when the weather gets better. Uh, she had a folders. So she had some, she tried folders too this time. Look how pretty these folders are. And they're all different. And I like the variations. Even the insides look cool. Because you can see on the insides, you can see, you can see all the patterns. How cool the inside looks. It kind of went all the way through the envelope. Our envelope, gosh, file folder, file envelope. Look how nice that looks on the edge. So she's gonna make. She said April. She's gonna make more file folders and more papers when the weather is cooperating. Because she said she did these in her oven and it takes too long and it's messy and and I I can understand that. So I'm obsessed with Michelle papers. And I'm obsessed with Amy papers. And these papers were well, not new, but I, I've been going through all my papers, all my handmade dyed papers and organizing them. These I got from Keisha sale. Someone else made these. And I don't know who, unfortunately, but I got this from Ke one of Keisha's mark people at her market. And uh, it's a beautiful lace. And this one was neat because... It almost looks, it's, it's really embossed. Like it, there's, this is divoted in. Like this is depressed. Like this is like a texture, like an embossing folder. And it's so cool because this is, this is um, it actually embossed in the, paper, the back of it. I haven't used it yet. I'm still like, still hugging it, right? I have some beautiful papers. Another set of papers Michelle has that I got last year. Is this one which is super pretty this is another one of hers it's super pretty yeah you did get some of paper I, mean, I got two paper packs of all different papers yeah I don't remember who that was from Deb yeah I remember it was a Keisha sale but I don't remember I don't remember who it was so these were also see like there's see there's an Amy paper mixed in so that's the other thing too. I've got my Amy. This is like I got Amy papers and Michelle papers all mixed up. And um, I not that I won't use them together, but because I'm mental, I'm separating them. <laughs> I was <love> to say. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm separating Amy papers, Michelle papers, and that has nothing to do with color. That is just me being me. I only want else to say on that one, huh? Okay, so Tim Holtz stuff. My favorite, my favorite, one of my favorite things I got from the Tim Holtz new collection is the, is the tape. Um, this definitely, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's the, okay. the tape, the tape is my favorite by far. Um, it is a, it is a fabric. It, it is like a twill fabric with, and it's sticky on the back. This is my favorite of his new line for sure. And he had two different kinds. So you have a colorful one. I think I got, that's the one I got was the colorful one. And then this one, which is, I you see, it depends on my mood. Sometimes I want color in my life. <laughs> Sometimes I want simple. So, so I started working um, in this little book. So um, I combined, this was Ranger. This is a, a Tim Holtz book. And someone, um, and he was showing the new line, had altered a book. And it should be, if you go to Tim Holtz's blog, you can see the artist and what they created. And one girl did, which I thought was awesome. So she cut some of his, the pages down. Okay, because the pages look like this. She cut some of the pages down, and she added, and she cut them short, 
and then she added paper. And I love the thought of having fabric paper, fabric paper. And these are by Amy. And she basically took these little cards and she stitched on all the little cards. And I then cut this and I added it. So I fabric paper, fabric paper. And here I added, see this one turned out darker. And I don't mean, I like the variations. Then I added, clip, you see how she stitched it. I cut off the, just leaving this much of the fabric and glued it on. And I love that um, this, I got this from Peggy and had it, and this stuff is all glued on for paper clip. Look how cute is this? She took fabric, there's some paper, and she adds a little bit of lace and beads and paper. I mean, it's just a common, I love when you add paper and fabric. Like, I love seeing the two combined. I think this is beautiful. So I have had this since she said it to me. And I didn't know, I was waiting for the right spot. And I found the right spot. So Peggy, your tag, your <gasps> That's banner. perfect. Is this is looks That's more beautiful. Here, but look how cute that is. This uh, this is living on top of Michelle's cute paper. So yeah. So then you got oh, a I love fabric. that book, Colleen. Isn't this fun? So then you have yeah. fabric paper, fabric paper. So then I think it's the the best of both worlds. And these she stitched on. So there was only three that were stitched on. So I'm gonna have to stitch on my own. And so what I started doing was just, you know, is uh, I've decided like how, what am I going to do on a cover? Do I want to paint it? Do I want to add paper? And then it, then it dawned on me that I could take this paper, this, sorry, let me get started. I could take this ribbon and use it on the fabric and make it, and my cover is done. Voila. Like, look how simple it is. And it, it actually is a cool it, idea. It adheres really nicely to the cover. That would and also be cool on mini file folders. Oh, yeah, you could do this on your, you so could. And I love this. So I was really happy that this case um, works beautifully. I'm going to leave a little extra this time and be more intelligent about it. So it's easier to start. Um, so you can see, you can just adhere his tape onto the canvas, and then and then I'll do the backside, and your cover is done. Like this is simple pimple. There's no, there's no stress. This isn't hard. And then, well, I could add stuff on top, right? I could still, I could stitch because it is fabric. I could stitch through this still with this on here, because this is um, not like it's thick. Hey, Colleen, did you get any of these little uh, pleated ribbony things made out of the material? Yes. I'll be making Those will be cute cool. in there, too. Hold on. Yeah, this is, I, I, this is all the stuff I got from Michelle. Okay. I I love those. I got a bunch of those. Those I love that she does the pleats. I know. Again, these are great. She's so patient to sew pleats. And then they're all ironed down. These are really pretty. They are. And I was wondering if you got the travel fabric. Because I couldn't remember if you got that or not. When I got mine, I was like, oh, I wonder if she got that. Because she could use that in her book. Your travel book that you started. Oh, use what? The travel fabric underneath your, underneath your pile there. Yes, that's, I was thinking about that. Yeah, because I got that too, and I got it, and I was like, I wonder, if, I couldn't remember, like, I could, I know you came in late, and I couldn't remember what you got. I could, so I came in for the fabrics, I missed all the papers, and it was the papers that I was really looking for. Okay. But I did end up with some cool fabrics, I did get some Cantha, Cantha squares. That's before and after. Which I think the Cantha squares would be a cool um, journal cover or book cover. Oh, it could. Yeah. Michelle did uh, sold the Cantha, the Cantha squares. She had, and I love that I can use, mix in her stuff. 
with because they're nice and neutral and I can mix them in with others. Uh -huh. So I could now I could take her little cute little fabric strips and I can add these to my Tim Holtz journal with, you know, along with her paper. See, that's what I was thinking. I might use some of these for a border on my travel journal. And I love that I can use these and mix these with um, mostly. I mean, you can see like even this color. Oh, this one's That's slightly pretty. off, but I will find it. It will all get used. I used all these on my Christmas. Uh, we did the Christmas bag journal. I used a ton of hers. And then I got the four <laughs> canticles and she said that it was awful cutting this up. So I'm glad that we got one because I don't think she'll ever do this again. <laughs> I am too. And this was really cool patterns in the cantha quilt. And everyone got something different, you know, because, you know, cantha quilts are the fabrics all different. And we both got the travel fabric. I don't want to do mine, but it, I just thought it was pretty. Um, and I think I was thinking part in my, I'll, I'll cut out some snippets for the travel journal, but then I was thinking um, journal cover. It, I mean, you could use that for a journal cover as well, for sure. I got some flashcards. These are so pretty. Yeah, so there's a kit. She had flashcards and library cards and all this stuff you can, you can spray or stain and use however you want and then she used an Aaron folder to put it all in I bought like two of these so yeah there's I love a variety now I don't know what I use these for but they were just pretty I have no clue <laughs> I know sometimes you just can't resist and it looks so nice it's like oh, I'll find something to use it for uh, mine I use I love vent I love flashcards vintage ones are my favorite yeah I mean I have new ones too and I, I, but vintage are my favorite. And um, I forget, I don't know what these are, but I have several of these. And this is another thing I grouped together. I think it's a, I don't know what this is. But anyway, it's cool. Now, so, is that the kind of stuff you're putting in the drawers, Colleen? That you yes, just got? Cool. I am. I'm using like all this kind of stuff's going in drawers. All like the little Kodak cards. Um, library cards. I'm putting all this little stuff in drawers because I kind of had it all thrown together and been and if I'm not seeing it. If I'm not seeing it, I won't use it. And I know that enough about myself that if I'm if I'm not seeing it, I'm not going to use it. It's important for me to to separate stuff out. Now, like my Tim Holtz stuff, I keep grouped together. Because I know all the Tim stuff is in there. But things I just started buying that are new to me, I want to keep these. I don't want these getting mixed in with paper. So I want to use them. I don't want to just collect them. So as far as Tim stuff goes, I got the, the cards. Um, I got his new paper packs. And... Oh, you've gotten, you've opened everything and gotten into it. I haven't even opened any of this. I did, not, I did open the people who looked in. The people are different. Oh, the, okay, because I didn't get them. If they're, they're, is it, they're different, so it's a yeah, good the, one to get. Yeah, the people are different, because I was not sure about that either, and the people are different. I have, I have so many people, and I have more people. Um, these were neat. Um, this paper pack of the group, which is the first time they've done that. So the group ones is something that none of us had. So if you're going to, if you want to purchase any and you already have some of these, you could just get the groups because this is um, the only ones that I had were a group was three ladies. I put them in a tree on a reverse collage. And I remember I turned, that. That was and a I good made one. Them, and I made, they might have been these three. I made them into witches sitting in the trees. Yep. <laughs> that was a fun stream. Yeah, and so I said so these. I think if you're if you're if you're wondering what you should, if you have ten people, and you weren't worried about having others, you you know you could you could skip that. But I again just like to have everything. I love. Oh, it's bad again. I want it all. Those That's are cute. I'll probably get those. Um. And I ended up getting my credit card bill, and I'm like, holy moly, why did I want all of those? <laughs> um, 
But yeah, so this is neat. This is neat. Look, there's two guys sitting here with their dog in the middle. I like that. This little dog cute. in there. Yeah. And look at these ladies. So there's some really pretty group ones. There's a here's a couple. And I like the ones that are sitting down too. Like all these ladies are sitting down because it, it just lends itself uh, to to other you know other uses you know when there's not just standing up i think it makes it more fun there's a couple more ladies uh, these two are sitting at different heights which i like there's some gentlemen here's and here's a couple kids holding hands these are cute so i do like the the group ones here's a couple kids here a couple guys this one, I think, is a bigger version of the ones Ari had. That one I recognize. Yeah, those guys look familiar. They may but just be put together, too. These girls. these oh, they're blue, isn't they, Aren't they cute, the little yeah. plaid dresses? And then all you get, I think all I think I've seen is you just got to go in and pop eh, pop out the little the little things here. Nice. No, no biggie. Pop them out. Done. So, anyway, so the yeah, here's like some bridesmaids here. Oh, look Hi, at Beth. them! Good morning. They look so serious. Hi, Nettie. I know they do, and you know they had to feel pretty and special, and you know they all are serious. Look at this group here. If when these might have been marked as the same wedding, they kind of got the boho look. With I love the. With the flowers in their hair and the dresses. Yeah. I like that one. Here's a guy. Here's like would be probably three brothers together. <laughs> yeah. Here's the here. Who knows? Maybe those kids in there go with this wedding couple. It looks like it, Eileen. Like they're get it's it's communion. Or I was thinking the May like uh May, you know, for uh crowning Mary for May. All could be. Look at this. This is just a young couple. These are not as old as so many others, which is kind of nice. They're uh -huh. older, but they're not like really old. Yeah, they look more like in the 50s. Or yeah, early they 50s. look like, exactly. They look like 50s. Like she's more like got the flapper outfit. Yeah, so they're fun. So I do like, and the, I like this one. There's a dad and there is two daughters. I like that. So, um, there's more. I didn't pull them all out. There's more. It, it, there's how many is in here? 50 of them. 50. Oh, Devin said Tina was saying that they had to add shoes to some because they were cropped out of the originals. Interesting. Uh, Journey, I bought these from Simon Says Stamps because oh. uh, they were the first to get them. But I do believe that Joggles.com has these now, too. So you can get them from Simon Says Stamp or Joggles.com. And I'm not sure if Scrapbook.com has them or not. They probably do. I don't, I know for sure Simon Says Stamps and Joggles. There's, an, there's another big group of kids. It's got five people. I like these three boys like they're sitting here. Yeah, so again, there's a man, is the guy with his two sons. Yeah, I mean, he, I think there's a really neat, I think there's a lot of variety. There's a group of ladies. This reminds of us all going out, hanging <laughs> out, all my artsy friends. Yeah, there's 50 in here. It's a really good price. Like, I don't know, I paid like maybe nine bucks for these, but you get 50 of these. For nine dollars, I think that his paper dolls are a very economical uh, thing to purchase from him. I mean, okay, there's a link for Simon says stamp directly to his stuff, and all the new stuff is at the beginning. Oh, uh, thank you for putting that in, Kathy. Sure. There's some more. There's some more kids. Like, I mean, I, I to my view is, you, look at this. It goes. <laughs> Hey, Eileen, it's the first time I'm seeing. I, I looked at a, a few, but I didn't go through all of them. 
There's Eileen at the bar when I was uh, trying to stitch my doll. <laughs> <laughs> I stuffed my doll. Eileen was over in the corner at the mini bar, <laughs> hanging out with these dudes. That was really cunning. Look at that. This is pretty good. I gotta find something special for these dudes over here drinking some uh like Eileen's back. <laughs> that got her attention. He's <laughs> probably over at Johnny's sale. Uh there's two here. <laughs> these two. I like these three girls. Oops, see, it's gotta pop out little pieces. But some of them you can pop out pieces and there's these two. Three ladies hanging out. This one doesn't look as old either. See, like you can tell by their clothes. I'm glad that there's some newer ones in here. Because then you can work it into some layouts easier if they're not so vintage-y. Like they're older, but they're not old, old. There's this group of girls. Yeah, I think this could be like... Okay, here's like CB. She went to the bar when they were over at the Patty's thing. <laughs> going over to meet the guys. There's CB and Patty and them going over to the bar. Yeah, just kind of makes me think of that. These are fun. These are fun. I just can't help myself. These are fun. Call me a little. I just don't want to grow up. Um, so the, these were the double ones. You get 50 of these. I mean, I'll be like, you will not run out of these anytime soon. So from a, a get your money's worth point of view or from Tim stuff, I think his paper dolls are like the best deals. And then all the ladies that find these photos and fix them and make them for his paper dolls and do all that work for us. Look at that. I can't even like it hard. It's going to be to get back in. It's so full. Those are fun. Now, Thanks. did you get the um, did you get the material, the fabric? If Simon says, um, no, I did not. I got my material on Etsy, but okay. I saw later they had them on Amazon. I wish I'd bought them on Amazon because <laughs> oh, I could have okay. got the whole. I could have got the whole whole set instead of half a set. But you got, did you get the worn uh, scraps of wallpaper? Yes, I did get okay. that. That's one I didn't get that I Like, I can't, I'm going to try. Like, I'm going to put my little, I'm going to put my peoples, my peoples. These are my peoples. Your I'm going to put my peoples in a box. Because they never fit back in there quite right. I did get that. Um, uh, it's in the bottom. I got the, the worn wallpaper and it's, it is really neat. It, it does feel like wallpaper. It's like a, uh, but it's, it's textured like wallpaper, but it's paper. It's paper to feel like wallpaper. Oh, and uh, it's cut out too. Yeah, it's all cut out. He said it's from his uh, wallflower paper collection. He said, People were cutting these out of his 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 uh, paper and using them, and so they decided to cut them out for us. He said he got the idea from people were cutting out his wildfire collection paper individually from the big, I guess the twelve by twelves. Oh, okay. So you get this group. You get forty nine pieces. So you get twenty sheets and twenty die cuts, and then all these would be really pretty for spring. I oh, think. Betsy, I, I wish I'd gotten it. I almost got it. Okay. So, like, if you took, uh, you know, we took some of our people here. I mean, you can see the wallpaper. Let's get a darker wallpaper. Yeah. I mean, any of these people. I can't let me turn off my autofocus. The camera's like... We in and out. I said, drive you all crazy. Hold on. What that? There it is. Let me zoom in a little bit too. Yes. Okay. If you go to Tim Holt, if you go to um, Amazon and look up, uh, do a search for Tim Holt's fabric. 
it um here let me i'll put the link up it'll bring you this this has all different fabrics the new ones the old ones but look how these look great how great all his little like his paper dolls they all look good with this wallpaper i like you that you don't even have to like you know this is not even like you're gonna have to <laughs> like a struggle to match things up like they've they've already done the work for you so that's the wallpaper i bet they'll look good on the fabric too i think so too i mean i could you definitely could take a uh, little fabric book that i put that on and you could put these on there well it's too big i want it fits it and you could glue this stitch this and then add a little Add a couple kids on here, something like that, however you'd want to layer it. Yeah, so you could just, you know, because again, his tape matches the paper, et cetera, et cetera. So then it's all done for you. Oh, here like this. Oh, that's cute. So then you have the kids on the tape and then standing in the middle of the flowers and then your cover is done how cute is that simple oh, that's adorable look at that so i may just leave it like that it was totally just matching up i said these are it's it's nice and i like that every you know when they make out the the entire line what's nice is everything goes together the, the floral tape matches the floral wallpaper you know the, the little people are nice and neutral and easy the day book paper is it calls it uh they call them backdrop so it's basically reproduction vintage like this would be the inside of the uh, ledgers that they sell. Like, you know, it has the marbly covers. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this is like basically uh, copied versions of ledgers and patterns, school papers. And I like that they put it because not everybody can afford to buy those or can get their hands on them. But, right. you, can get, but you can get a hold of his paper. And that's a nice assortment, and they're blown up a little bit too, which is also nice. The cigar one, the cigar one's pretty neat. So here's the cigar box. Cute. Yeah. So I think that you know it's nice because if you don't want to collect old things but you want to use them, I think this is a nice, yeah, nice idea. I think it's nice to have both. I like I like new stuff and old stuff, so I don't really and I don't mind reproductions either. I'm not picky. I like it all. <laughs> now, when you got your material, Colleen, how many pieces did you get? Nine. Okay, because on Amazon it's showing twenty fat quarters. No, yeah, twenty. Yeah, I think I have nine. Maybe it's ten. Yeah, there's more in there. It's a better deal. Okay, because it's 68 for 20 Yeah, that's a better deal. Okay. I found it afterwards. <laughs> so I was like, oh, well. Yeah, I found that afterwards. So it's a better deal to get. You could get all 20 that's in this line for $68 than what I did. But I found that later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like this. I think the the fabric is beautiful because it's it's pictures of paper on it. And you know, ledgers and stuff. I got his other um his other paper packs. They're all, like I said, reproduction um copies of ledgers and stuff like that. So he has two of those and I did get the background card stocks, the grays, the greens, maroon. Um, these are the core card stock that the back of it's tan. And when you tear it, you actually have tan showing, which is pretty neat. I don't think anyone else has this, this kind of paper. I think this is his own. Oh, is that that core paper? 
Yeah, I don't think I don't really think other anyone else does anything like this. This is where he's kind of got a cool idea that's his. Um, let me show you guys. So this is basically color on top of craft cardstock. So they put color on the on the top of the cardstock is how they achieve this. He said, and so you can see it's brown and they just put color infused on top of the craft. So the cool thing is you could use this and the back is fine. You could color the back and when you tear it and when you tear it, you know, you, you, got, you got the cool, you have the cool edge. Oh, that's nice. Instead of white. Instead of white. That so is cool. I like this one. I have the black. He's discontinuing the black. And so I got those three colors and the, I got, oh, I should put one of these on my cover with the kids. Hey, Sherry. I'll put one of these hearts on here. There's a little heart charm. Oh, little charm. Perfect. I should put that on here. I should, I'll stitch that on here somewhere. Put yourself big, Colleen, because I just have my stuff laid out. You big. I want to see what you're doing. Okay, Peggy, thanks for coming. Bye, Peggy. See you later. You have a good day, too. So I think it would be cute. So I may end up stitching, like, stitching the little charms on here, I think. Well, that will be cute. I'll have to stitch this somewhere. I don't know where, but I'm going to stitch this on here somewhere. So I got the little heart charms. And... I got some ribbons and again these all these coordinate with his again they makes it easy for us they coordinate with his with his paper so you got the pinks browns greens blues and so you can go in here and use this or this actually and so then you can You've already got the matching ribbon, so if you want to add this on here somewhere, I like that. Uh, this is velour. I like it because it's a velour. So apparently, velour maybe is coming back in. Velour was in in the seventies. Uh huh. My mom had a velour yellow couch. Pretty. She thought so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't we think had, I want a yellow couch, couch but green yeah. Green couch. See that green on there? Yes, you had a green. Yeah, we had green. Couch. Um, so I got the lids. I got the little letters. I thought these were cute. The, the mini marquee letters. And I got these, the color. Cool. I like these because you can color them. Which you're showing. So I like the fact that you can color these and make them your own. You can use your Copics, your watercolor markers, and you can color these in. Look how big some of them are. They're huge. Oh, I like those. Kind of huge that one is. They're big. Oh, There's the embossing glazes will be nice on those too. Oh, I bet. Yeah, I bet I could do that. Oh, I, hi, Amy. Thanks for stopping by while you're working. Oh, thank you, Glitter Girl. Aren't these cool? They're huge. You see how huge? When I took this one out, I was like, whoa. Those are nice. Those are different than any of the other ones before. They are different than anything he's done. So, like, the other ones are his butterflies and flowers that are all already colored. But this is very, some of these are very steampunkish. Here's the girl. Yeah, the girl hanging out. Here's the, oh, I love the fan. Um, yeah, so we could, you could use, I want to have, it is slick. I would say it has a slick surface. So I think you could, you might be able to use alcohol ink. So I'll have to do some play and see how alcohol inks do on it or obviously any sort of, Sharpie like this. Oh, I like this one. Look, tube of paint, old fashioned car, it's a bottle. 
It's a nice assortment, and I like that you can color them. I just feel like it's fun to customize customize these things to fit your oh look at this oh look at this spout look so this was colored hey you people are too little let's pretend we weren't using those <laughs> let's see see how fun these are to play with so let's see we could have you know oh too big let's keep playing there's a bunch of stuff there's flowers there's fish <laughs> there's a fish Tubes of paints, butterflies. Okay. So you can let's see if we can have it. We can even have it sticking up off of there. We could have this floral bouquet underneath the spout. Well, oh, I love the spout. Oh, that's fun. Oh, there's a painty thing. All your tubes of paint. These <sighs> fun mushrooms. Gotta have shrooms, right? So you can see how fun these are to play with. A chest. Uh, oh, scissors. Oh, here's another girl. So you can make a really cute collage with all these. These all would layer nicely. Whoop. Seashells. Here's another dude. He's got a little different um, outfit. Here's some paintbrushes. Oh, there, Eileen. There's your bug models like look at all these this this again i think is a very good economical purchase from him you can there's a, here's another set of scissors it's larger oh, i love this big one um i feel like this is another again where you get bang for your buck you could you could experiment with coloring these use your embossing enamels try your sprays like, I think you get a lot of bang for your buck. How many was in here? Is there 50 in this one too? Ooh, 78. 78 pieces in this one. Holy moly. Even more than the people. Hi, Safia. Hi, Lisa. Oh, look at these. 78. Oh, here's some sea life. Oh, he's like an old-fashioned collar. Typewriter. Oh, I like the typewriter. Ooh, that could be fun. What else is in here? More bottles, butterflies, ferns. I mean, this is where I feel like you can play with these and play with these and not get bored either. Magnifying glass. Um, we'll have to do that. I think we'll have to. We'll have to play with these, like with some alcohol ink, some sprays, see what we like. Maybe use some water-based markers on them. Oh, for instance, like we could take, oh, look at that. Hey, some of those might be good on top of those in that little book too. That's true. I mean, I mean, once I get in here and I could collar them, they would look cute on oh, here. Oh, yeah, put the glaze, the embossing glaze, and then match up an embossing glaze. Who's the enabler, Tim or Colleen? Really, Colleen, he should, Colleen should get a cut. I think, <laughs> I think so. Hi, Lisa. Oh, look at her on there. I think she looks good on there, Colleen. Okay, you liked her on there? She's kind of big. It, there was a smaller version of her. There are some smaller and bigger ones of her. Oh, yes. I love those on there with the stitching and everything. Yeah, look how you can mix Amy and Michelle stuff and Timmy stuff. Okay, that was too big. So look how you can mix all these. Hey, Janice. Together. All these cute Let's little. See if she's gonna fit. No. There's got to be one that's the right size. Yeah, there was. There's 78 of these. Yeah, one of them's got to work. Oh, so here's a guy with a hat. Oh, that's cute. Just step on. He's like a little winter dude. Let's see. Hold on. I got to do it here. Is it there? There you go. Oh, little. He looks like uh, Dr. Shivago. Oh, he does. He does. Oh, there you go. Hi, Janice. Well, look how pretty she looks on there. And she's not she, even yeah I like her not even colored in and if you get uh, maybe use uh, 
this new Crayola World marker thingies I got. Where it is at? Oh, no, no. oh yeah. So, so then you picture. Yeah, because those are translucent. Those would be good. Yeah, these are translucent and wouldn't cover up all the details. So you could get your Crayola colors of the world markers that have, which this is enabled by. I saw this on Instagram. I saw Devin with them. Ooh, or you could use ink tents too. I just used my ink tents that I'd forgotten about. So, like these are water based, but um, as, long, as long as you're not going to get them all wet, I mean, they'll be fine. So you could go in here and color her in. Let's see how it's going to work. Because it is a slick surface. Let's just see. If it doesn't work, I'll rub it off, right? Yeah, you can just wipe it off. So you could go in. It does wipe off. I know. Okay. Okay, it wipes off too easy. Okay, let's not do water-based. And then you're going to have to do... Oh, Xander sent these to Dee Dee. I wonder if Xander has these in her shop, too. She Oh, she did? I saw I saw Devin with them on Instagram. Okay. And that's why... Oh, there's a couple more in my world. Oh, okay. God, I missed a lot last week. You did. You were gone. You missed it all. I got little mini flare buttons oh i got the other flare ones the this pack let's see I got you got the other. oh they were too. you got the other yeah i got the ones oh, that's with funny we, we picked opposites and i like those little ones though i'm that's i'm making a running list in my head of stuff i want to get so get. again i like these these uh you know, these will look cute on the front. Oh, I love those. I could, I mean, almost everything looks good on this tape. I've decided that everything looks good on the tape. It really does. I just like that even looks good on the tape. Um, so you could paint these and put them on you. The people that look good on the front of this tape. Everything looked good on the front. I did buy the uh, cheated and got a few. The pre-stitched. Even I could stitch my own. I did get those. I got those. Um, I get those. They're always fun. They're just fun. And I got some some little. Okay, so if she's in here. So then you could use one of your little quotes. Hey, Dorothy, from, how are you doing? Quote book. If you left her white, then you want to put some white words on here. So then you could go with. Good idea, Deb. Deb Farrell said you could always use matte medium and then color over them. Oh, that's a good idea because, yeah, yeah it's, it's sliding right off. See, I've, you know, life is great adventure, you know, and then boom, boom. Okay, I got those. So uh, easy peasy that. So uh, the things I did not purchase was um, I did not purchase like all the metal stuff. I don't use those very much and I have a lot already that I don't use. So that is the one thing I didn't buy. The only metal things that I purchased was the hearts. Okay, you got I, I got the um the door not the little drawer pulls because I'm I did see the Okay, the drawer pulls. You have to when you use them, I'll have to see how you use them and then Okay, I'm gonna put these I think on the on my cigar boxes. And then stack my cigar boxes so they look like oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. And then I got the um the little metal quotes. They're just this size. Oops. Oh, maybe they be equal. So I got those, which I've been using the I use these periodically. I have I those for long. Long. Okay, they're heavy. I know that they are, they are very heavy. But you know what I was thinking? See how they have these little tabs on the ends? These would be fun on slow stitching stuff. You could stitch those on there on each side. That's true. You could do that. And then I got, and I don't think you got this, Colleen. I did get the, the roll of tissue. That has I, did not get the, I did not get the bug tissue. I yeah. don't know why Eileen likes bugs. I don't care for the bugs and stuff. 
See, and I, I just him. like the tissue. I just like his tissue. So I, I love his that. tissue. But I did not. I did not buy bug tissue. I okay. have all his other tissues, but I, I draw the line at bug tissue. <laughs> I don't like. I don't have. I don't have the bug. I don't have the bug stamps. <laughs> I don't have. I mean, I don't collect a lot of bug stuff, but I, I like bees and dragonflies. Bees would be okay, uh, and the dragonflies and butterflies. Yeah, and, and, uh, la and lady and ladybugs. There's. I, I could live with. I could. Uh, I could live without the rest. Even though I know we need them or whatever, you know, but yeah. Not a big, yeah, cicadas coming in. <laughs> yeah. Woo -wee. Cicadas, they'll be here soon. Scary, scary. Okay, um, Safia, thanks for popping by. See you later, Safia. Getting her supper done. I forget about the time stuff. Safia is in the UK, so it's at her dinner time. Yeah, these are really fun. So I'm going to leave a couple out and put the rest up, and we'll see about playing with some of these. Because I don't, I want to see. Okay, so if we put gel medium, then we could use a marker, or we could use. I'm saying emboss, his embossing glaze. Okay, we'll try that. That because I also want to do that on his uh, on his words too. Yeah. The, chunky words he has oh that that would look cool in a row so we'll try we'll try a couple of these with some see what works because i also want to try some with some maybe uh, i don't have copic brand but alcohol markers yeah and try some of those and you see and i also thinking about cutting cutting one more cutting like one more of these down in the back and then i think i'm going to um then add this as like this would be cut off and add this as a page. Oh, that would be cute. I might add this as a page a too. Chicken. Yeah, like I did these. So I'm thinking about that. So I like this is just like late one evening. Oh, you could tip it in. Could you tip it in with the cloth tape? Oh, I could do that. I didn't even think about that. I've been gluing them in. You could tip it in with the cloth tape, and you could even just do it from the top and have it flip up. If you didn't want it on the side. Yeah, there was a tip in, and I wouldn't have to cut out the page. Okay, Eileen said to use some of his crayons on them in the metal also. Okay. Why do you think your used crayons will work when they're water-soluble? I'm curious why she... See, look how cute... Oh, with the little, oh, I love those little round things. This is a good, yeah. So I got to figure out how do I incorporate these? This is going to be the part I figure would be the hardest. How do I put these on here without it looking weird? Uh, I don't know. You just pop them on. They just look cute anywhere. I also like the heart. The heart up in the corner and then one of those down somewhere else. If I could stitch this little girl, stitch that one on, and then have some. Yeah, have some thread hanging out. And yeah, like this. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, I mean, that's just, I think that was my favorite that we threw together. So that's all. As I said, I got, I went crazy with all the new stuff. Like I said, hey, everything. Colleen, if you, can you, hey, Colleen, mm -hmm. can you fold those cards that you just put away in half? How big are those? Oh, put them sideways. Put them side. Okay. Are they as tall as the book? Oh, no, no, the other way. The other way. Ooh, oh, they are as tall as the book. So if you folded it in half, or no, fold it so it fits, and then have it so it like flaps open like a three-way, like there. Fold it so it's even with the book. Okay. Hold on, I'll do the middle pages because this one's a little, I see. Yeah, do it in the middle because then you could just attach it in there. You could sew it in even. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Okay, so. You have it across the whole thing. So you're saying to have it here. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. If you're going to do it in the middle, have it there and then just the end fold over like that. Whatever you think looks good. Or mm -hmm. do it the other way to have it. 
So you can, I see what you're saying. So you have it sewn in here. Right. Sew it down there. And then that just folds over. And that would fold over. And it opens up. And then this would be in the crease. Yeah. Ah, oh, look at you. I never noticed that was the same size as this book. I'm sure he knew that. I That's brilliant. So then you got, you got this flip out. Uh, and I thought I'd save so much money. I'm going to go back and buy some more stuff. <laughs> Okay, alcohol markers will work too, Devin said. Oh, Eileen said use pop-ups on the couple. Pop-ups. Like oh, pop -ups. Three, oh, get the three D the three D things. Yeah, the pop dots. Pop or the pop dots on the are the flowers behind the couple or in front of them? Interesting too, because so if I if I attach this in the middle. I could still have the fabric flaps on either side, uh -huh. and then you still have the fabric flaps. You're just basically adding pages to your book. Right. You're not losing any fabric pages. That's brilliant, Kathy. And then, what kind of material is that? Like a muslin? Uh, it's like a canvas. Okay. It's then you could thicker. make your own book and put more of those in there. It wouldn't have to be in the middle. You could put more papers and you can make your own book with the cloth you got. That's it's true. Those, those other things in its different pages. That's, that's, a, that's a fun idea to stitch this in here yeah. and, have, and have an extra set of pages to play with. Hey, Gail. And then you have the backside. Now this is upside down. This may not be, are they all that way? But would probably want one that's the background's not upside down. I hope they're not all that way. Okay, this one's not. Okay, just that one. In okay. This oh, that's one. Too bad. Well, this would be sideways. They would because that would be sideways. Let's see. This would be neutral. Okay. That would work. It depends if you want would don't care about this being side the stuff be some of this being sideways. Let's see. This would work. Okay. Oh, wait, that would work. This works. Yeah. But then this is going to be vertical, which isn't too terrible. No, but that's that's kind of cool and different. This would be, again, this but is sideways, and you're back to the. So I guess pay attention to um, the backs and the fronts. Yeah, because if you don't, it depends if you, whether you, I mean, you may not care. I mean, if this is, this is, this is sideways, this is not. I mean, that's not too bad, but I think the, the letters were upside down, so I could have picked the worst piece to fold. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. The check's cool. What's on the back of the check? Okay, that'd be sideways. Yeah, so if some of this is going to be sideways. I think there's no way to avoid some of it's going to be sideways. This one probably is the least. That's not bad. That's not bad. This one, these are good because this is just uh, grungy paper, grungy paper. These could be folded. Yeah. Easily and put in there. And then this one was your book paper could be sideways. But yeah, then that's we, not bad. That's kind of cool, actually, like that. Because we add a lot of book pages in sideways anyway in junk journals. So yeah. yeah, the window you couldn't do. No. Mm, I don't like that either. This would be okay. Yeah, the map is good. This would be okay. This would be okay. Oh, I could use that page in my traveler's journal. You could. This is map. Bay Bayside, New York, and this one. Yep. Fun. Okay. This one, well, there was two of these. So I'm not sure which pack this is in. There's two of these. Let's see. This one is uh, volume one. It has these in it. There's oh, okay. Yeah. There's oh, so that one. means there'll be more. Yeah, there's volume one and there's volume two. Oh, did you get that? Is volume two out now? Yeah. Oh. I got both. I have a paperaholic. 
Yeah, I was thinking about that yesterday. I definitely am. I love paper, so. This has got the grungy paper. Grand Hotel. It's got more crackle paper. This is like the stuff everybody uses and has that they just made copies of. It is. It is old. Yeah, out of. But uh, it's cool. That one's got gears. That could. I might. That could go in the. Uh, Sanferita stuff. Oh yes. Yeah. This. Yeah. They just basically scan documents, but then they put it on like this is like a like a. It's it's not as it's like a card stock. So the advantage of it, oh here's another one. This is you can put in your map book, like Erie. Oh, cool. Yeah, there's that could go in your in your book. And hey, this Colleen, I wonder if some of your old library cards would fit in that size, in that journal. Oh that's oh that that's, might be something. Yeah, actually that. that's a good point. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, they're smaller than the book, but it, it could definitely go in the book. Oh, you could sew some of those. You could sew those in. Yeah, those would definitely fit. And then if you didn't care, if you didn't care about this sticking out, I mean, also you could fold your flashcards, too. You could also make it this into a junk journal by, like, stitching a flash card in the middle. Oh, you know what you could do? Put it right side up, fold it. It okay, fold it. And like then it. what you could do is put like one of those little Tim people or put a little picture there so when you flap it down you see the picture. Oh, that's a good idea to make or or you could sew this and then it's a pocket. Right, make a pocket out of it. You can make a pocket or you could have it have it as a flip. Uh-huh. That's a good idea. Let's see. Let me grab some. Yeah, if you so, use it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have them sticking in there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We were married 12 years. anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Or you could be like. Hey, Carla. It could be like. We had 12 beers. 12 beers with my <laughs> <laughs> 12 beers. Yeah. <laughs> that's why it's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, the sit down people. Um, let me get some more sit down people. Yeah, the sit down people are fun because they're fun to play with. The sit down people could sit. You could have, okay, you could tap. Oh, look, look. You get tapped here, here, here and still oh, have yes. double That's your money, cute. right? So yeah. these guys here, they look like they're 12 years old. <laughs> 12 year old boys. And you can put like boys. a 12 year old boy quote inside. And then flip it, and then you can have something on the inside and sit these guys. Oh, I like that idea. Yeah, have some have see if there's like a funny saying. You could actually put a funny saying in there. Oh, I like that. So yeah, we, we'll sit we'll sit them on top of the flashcard. Oh, that's funny. Well, I, he's got to have some kind of good saying for them. Yeah, so we definitely need some good boy quotes. See, like these are newer ones, which they're old, but they're not old old. And I like that. And I didn't think about the other stuff that would fit in here, like folding, folding his papers, the flower uh -huh. cards, the library cards. Because actually, this one I got from Michelle as a giveaway, and I had one, but I hadn't done anything with it. And I don't know why I got stomped on it, but there's a lot of things that fit in here. In yeah. Size. Okay, I'm gonna glue them down now. They're gonna, they're, they're gonna they're stay there. there. There's, there's one there. that says "best day ever." Best day out in the paper packet. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to see if there's anything. There, these are he does mostly like nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like polite quotes. And my needles causing my glue to look rusty. I got rusty glue. 
There you go. I created oh. the needles getting rusty and it makes your glue. I know. What, what can we use so it the what kind of what kind of pins do we use so it doesn't rust? Supposedly steel ones, but then they're always uh, they say they're steel, but they're but usually they're not. They're yeah. not. They lie. Or like, oh, they're steel pens. And I even went over like Joanne's and stuff looking for steel pens. Uh -huh. Quote, and none, and they're all say they're nickel. So they tell the truth. And so, yeah, the pen gets gross. It gets rusty. And if you don't put a pen in it, it gets clogged. I'm going to get different pens. That one's so rusty. Oh, here's one. It says, this is my happy place. Your glue comes off. Oh, I like these boys on here. They're cute. You know, so look how much fun, playful it is with the guys with the beers, 12 beers, 12 years being married, 12 years old. That's fun with the flashcards. Just one number can lead you to other. Let's see. Where did I put that? I'm working out of a box. turned <laughs> back in here. Oh, and then they actually give you some blank ones you can put your own quotes in. Did you see that? No, I haven't looked. Actually, I just thought they were his normal. Um, no, it's two pages of quotes and then a page of blank in the white, both in the white and the gold. <laughs> white and gold and black and gold. I miss. I can find my stickers. I just showed you guys a sticker book. And I pulled a sticker off of it. There you go. It also have these. These are, I think these are probably meant to be more card oriented, but like. Oh, I got those too. Thank you, friend. Yeah, I just like, they're the little, which I have one of those. But, I don't know what they're called. Dynamo things. Yeah, the tape thingies. Yeah, I have one. I, I don't remember to use it. Half the time, I remembering to use these things. We can make our. We could also come up with our own kind of own quote, but these they're fun sitting on the flashcard. Uh, now I guess I how I'm going to attach my flashcard. Do I want to do this as a um, like a tip in on the? No, okay. yeah, I guess you still could tip it in if I taped it here, and then the boys won't be. Um, or, or just like sew it across the top. Hello. Let's do that. I'll sew it across the top. Let's do it yeah, real quick. Sew it across the top, then it goes with the other pages. You're so smart. Look at her. You already figured out way more than I figured out. <laughs> I know, but you can sew, so you can do it all. <laughs> I'm like, hello. And I move my sewing machine in here. Okay, Gail. Let's run off in the other room and then um, yell at you guys like, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, no, she's right there. Um, yes, yeah, she got the stuff in um, Simon says stamp, but Joggles and I think scrapbook.com has it and Amazon has some of it too. All right, let's see. Kimberly. Normal stitch. Devin, did I say hi to you? Hi, Devin, Barb, Tori. I don't think they need hers. I'm trying to see if there's anything. Oh, dude, Deb, it's a cute idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. Well, I like the loop de loos. Maybe I'll do those. I, I did what Eileen said. I stitched on a piece of fabric all like some of the different stitches to see how they look, which was a good idea. Oh, cool. Uh, That way, you know, you can just look and see what you want and then do it. You don't have to go through them all. Well, the, the, the stitches look different than what they, the little drawings look like. Oh, okay. Like, you know, the stitches, because I, you look at the little, like, the pictures on the sewing machine, you're like, oh. And then you stitch it like that doesn't look any remotely like that. So that I thought that was a good idea for this, too. To actually pre stitch it. Oh, I did it crooked. That's okay. That's funny. I can't sew straight, apparently. 
All right. Turn this off. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, so I did a cruise. There, it's artsy fartsy that way. <laughs> oh, that's what you I started up here and I was like, uh oh, I'm gonna mess a dip down again. <laughs> that looks like a banner. It does, it's cute. I like Unintentional. it. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then you got the cute little stitches just for fun. Uh, yeah, perfect. On the back side, now they're on. That's a good idea. And you could still do if you wanted to, I guess, with the fun underneath. Them underneath. So you haven't totally lost everything. Yeah, I took a, the piece of fabric that I got from Michelle that had um, was my books were wrapped up in it, and then I just did a bunch, a bunch of the different stitches. Oh, cool! So I just had fun. Um, some were flowers. Some were uh, the heart ones were cute. I love the hearts, hearts and flowers. The ladder was neat. There's a couple wonky stitches. Oh, some of these are really like dark stitches. Like I was oh, nice. Not expecting that That's nice um, borders. They would make nice borders. And there is flowers. And this one I like because it looked like a kite tail. Like oh, it does. Stitch. That's cute. Stitch bow, stitch bow. Um, this one I thought was cute. Kind of looked like uh, flowers on the ends. I like that one. There's a, some of these I really like. Some are okay. Um, there's the little eyelash trim. Kind of looks like yeah. eyelashes to me. But I did go through playing and uh, just to see what the stitches look like. And some of them were really fun. There's a wonky one. Um, oh, anyway, cool. There. Like this one here. It's like wonky. Almost looks like fun. fun. Yeah, so those are fun stitches. So I was experimenting. All right, so did now you we go. Know, Helen wants to know did you do that on the Singer Curvy? No, I got a new sewing machine. I You're got a, get Colleen. I got a brother, a brother H C eighteen fifty. HD 1850 HC oh HC 1850 brother and I just got it and it has like it has like a hundred and 185 stitches or something like that and it does uh has like eyes extra feet and uh all kind of, um, I also bought the little uh free foot so I could do like the if you painted something you could go around it and do like kind of like fun stitching uh-huh that that's gonna come today um and i really like the loop de loop and there's also a loop one that was tighter and or smaller and then went went the other direction so if i'd use the other one the loops would have been this side, and, not that side. and that's not even adjusting the 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 size width like you can adjust the the, the size width and then you could have them tighter, looser. I mean, that just changes it completely once you yeah. adjust the spacing. So I decided to get a new sewing machine because I've really been mixing mixed media with it. And um, I wanted to get something that was a little, well, actually, I mean, really, it's only my third sewing machine I've had in 33 years. I mean, you think about all the other stuff I buy. I'm like, how, why is this only my third one? <laughs> Because <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got my first one for Christmas when we got married, oh, and wow. I was 19, and I got that one, and then I got had that forever, and then I got my one my yard sales like six seven years ago, and then this one, like I literally had this huge gap, but I was raising kids in the middle, so. That will be my excuse for that one. So, but I'm happy because now I can start sewing. I'll, and I put it and I moved it. I, I would show you, but this this camera is hard to unhook and rehook up. But I moved it to my right so I can just get up and sew and I don't have to leave the room. Helen, I think there was a love hate relationship with the curvy. <laughs> yeah, the, it, it was. The curvy is downstairs. I kept it. Um, I'll see if my daughter wants it, but the foot kept falling off. My bobbin kept getting tangled. 
and I got tired of it. So I got a new one that, and also this bobbin is much, it's a, it's a pre, you just put the bobbin in, you go with the string and whack it off and it's automatically feeds your bobbin. You don't have to, you know, turn a wheel and grab it and pull it up and, and do all that. It's, 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 it's easier. And it has a pre for the needle. You push down this lever and it, We'll feed it if I can figure it out. I actually put the thread through the needle there. They can figure it out. There is a threading needle thing too. Cool. Simplifies everything. And it has the little bit, the big platform on it. So that way I could uh, just have more room to work. Especially with, with them throwing books underneath it. Yeah. So I kept it. I just got a better one. It's only my third one in 33 years. I was like, wow. <laughs> when you think about that that's like I've been doing art stuff this entire time so apparently I was, I was like did a lot of sewing my kids are little did nothing started again when I got the curvy and then gone from there now I know where my other so I guess I donated it it's been too long I don't remember so then I could um, so add more I like adding the paper elements and the fabric elements this is fun all right, so let's see. Let's get another. I want to add another flashcard because this is so fun. Let's see. Okay, add one here. Let's add another, add another flashcard in here. So this one is 15 minus 8 is 7. So I could do this as 7 is showing. All right. So. I like adding the people on top. And then we can figure out a quote. Oh, that's fun. Um, I know this guy, those, those are perfect people sitting on there. I think they are. I hey, Helen, you. will you time out, Eileen, please? Uh-oh. What's she yelling at me for? No, she's yelling at me. Oh, how? <laughs> how are the stitches on your new sewing machine? They look like they'll be fun, Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> they'll fit. Let's see. They're, they're, they're probably, yeah, they're too, they, they would take, I guess you still could add them, but they're too bulky. Yeah. And they're standing. Here's this couple. You could add, you could add them if you use the blank one. The blank side. Oh, the couple looks good on there. Yeah, they look like they're they look fairly young too. Like they haven't been very, very long. And he and, and almost you could almost I could tuck his little coat in if I wanted to behind it. So it really looks like he's sitting. Yeah, and then their little heads will stick out, which will look kind of cute, too. Oh, that's true. They will stick out a little bit. So, how will that look? Uh, they're still yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. Yeah, his coat doesn't need to be behind. <laughs> Let's see. Hit these dudes. They've been friends for seven years. <laughs> Or flip it the other way and put that those women on there. Turn it over. Turn the card over. And then flip it the other way. So it's blank. And then the women can go. Oh, the group of women. Yeah. Right. Okay. The no, but no, take, pick up the card. And then flip the bottom up. Flip the bottom up. Okay, and then the women can go there because they're just, they'll cover the whole thing. Oh. And then when it comes down, you see the 15 minus 8 equals 7. Okay, so they would be here. Right. And, and then it would just have that. And then that goes there. That works. I mean, that's a possibility. I like that. And then they're on the pocket. You can have them on the pocket where he's sitting. So you can have them. Right. Sitting or on the actual 
Yeah. Or you can sew it and make it a pocket, or I like the flip down, the flip down better. So then they yeah. could be there. That's all the girls. I like those two. The couples. Let's see. You guys are just too wide. There's just too many. Yeah. Too many gals. Let's see. Oh, you have like the kids. Like they would work standing there. Uh huh. They'd be good too. They fit nicely. He's standing and she's sitting. And no, that won't work. She, you know, she would, well, it would work, but she would be stuck up way above yeah, the, she's Way over. Yeah. And that would be, do you guys like the girl sitting on the pocket or do you like people sitting on the pocket better? What's the, what does everyone else like? Let's see. There's more people because, again, there's lots of people, 50 people in here. <laughs> you have these ladies. They're kind of wide. They're a little too hippie. Okay, then they would be too wide. Let's see. They're a little smaller. This group's having a good time. <laughs> They might work. Then do you want to flip the other way so you can see the seven? Or you could put a quote under there. Oh, a quote under here might not be bad. Yeah, because yeah, if you look, she's got her hat on. Yeah. She, look at her. She's like, this one's got the character, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, they're just being funny. They're having fun. I like that. They're happy. They're having fun. I like this. anyone answering no they're all they're watching two streams okay let's see they're we're all having, we're, all having, <laughs> we're having fun these two would fit well these two are too wide i like i think i like these girls i think they're having a good time i know i'm looking for a quote I think I like these two girls because I think they're they're like they're having a good time. Okay, there is the adventure begins. These paper dolls are so fun. Come what may. Come what may. I like that. Okay, you like the, there's all the, you like she likes the hats too. I think I like that one too. I think these girls are having fun. Yeah. The girl or oh, we could put girls just want to have fun. That would be cute. Girls just yeah. want to have fun. They're arting together. Of course they're having fun. They're just looking all pretty and then they're gonna go out and get them some Mexican food later and <laughs> <laughs> after a hard day of art. They had clogged up in a matter of minutes. Oh, hold on. I yeah, I think girls just want to have fun. Tim's quotes are too serious. I mean, they're yeah. like them. We don't want to. We don't want to be serious. Right? I like the the plane by using the plane side. It does give us a place to put a quote. Right, and then when you open it, you just have the the card. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Okay. What time is it? It's one. Kathy's coming on at one. Oh, okay. Well, this was fun. Oh, uh, darn. We didn't get to the sewing part. Yeah, we did everything we planned on doing. I didn't do any of it. I didn't make my girl today. I didn't work on my collage, my, my weekly collage. 
Because it's so because of uh, well, I got in here a few minutes late. I could stay on. It's up to everybody else. So really, just up to you and them. If you, if you okay, if you want to stay on, Colleen, go ahead and stay on. I can't because I have there's some stuff I have to do. I'm just playing catch up from the last week. And then Kathy Arbor's on. What did she, what did she say she was doing? It was today her garden. No, well, part two today. of what she got was doing yesterday when she got cut oh, off. So we're gonna finish the garden page. I need to print that out. I was kind of, hers looks hers is really detailed. I think I'd like to to make that along with her, but make it less detailed. Oh, that but, sounds good. Because hers is really really detailed, and I think it might be beyond my skill level. So I think I'm going to um, make it that with her, but make it easier. Oh, that'll be good. It's fun to have like a like a starting point and then make it your own. Yeah. So I think I'll put this one here and I'm gonna put these on the front cover for sure. So I hope I had everyone had fun today. I'm sorry I didn't get to what I had planned, but we will get to that um it, either Tuesday at Kathy's, Friday. I guess I always have a plan, but I don't always stick to it. So we kind of go with the flow, right? But I hope yeah, everyone had fun. I I think we have it. We always have a plan, but then we kind of see what, <laughs> what, what we're feeling. <laughs> well, I started working on this little book, so I kind of want to work on this. I don't want to get too far behind in that. I'm going to read off what these are if you're participating in the, in the March quote. So March this week, uh, March 8th to March 14th is a flower a foreign language, stitching, real, drawn, or stamped, a measurement, something torn, and then the bonus is geometric shapes. So if you're playing along and uh, collaging, um, I'm too zoomed in and off. If you're playing along, um, I've, I've not done any, I've been staying caught up on it, but I have not done any back past ones okay i, I need just i need to start mine i just got mine yesterday as long as i stay current i'm at least staying current so Good. if you're playing along this is the next quote the next group and um try to get it, you know, try to get it done by this weekend so that way you don't get behind like i already pulled out this i already pulled out like the an oriental uh Oriental font. Cool. I put that down, and I think I can find some Oriental flowers to put down. And I don't know what measurement. I'm kind of thrown by that one. I'm not sure what I'll do from it, but I fear I'll have the. I have the Asian paper. I'll have some like some Asian. I have napkins I can put on here. The Asian napkins, yes. florals, and stitching is easy. A measurement, I'm kind of, I don't know, that, um, I'm a little stumped with that one. What's a measurement? What do they mean? Like, I don't know. know. I have to look at it. Here is stitching. Here's some stitching. Tim stitching. Like, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a lot confused actually by that quote. Uh, I don't know what they want, or that one, that prompt, I should say. I know we got Asian napkins in here somewhere. So I have some Asian napkins I could put on here in the Asian font, and I just got to figure out what a measurement would be. I don't know if I just need to have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. Well, I mean, you could do measuring tape, a measuring cup. Measuring tape. Maybe something like that. I might have some Tim rulers. Oh, that would be cute. I could maybe add the Tim rulers. Maybe I'll do that. I have a Tim ruler. That oh, Devin, Devin said um, L used a watch for measurement of time. Do I have paper with rulers on it? That would be good too. Or if I have some sort of stamp, stamp the rulers on the paper. I gotta look through my stamps and see if I have. Oh, I bet you have a ruler stamp. 
I might have a ruler stamp and could stamp that on paper. That's a good idea. Don't we have oh, a welcome, with the ruler with like measurement on it? Picture of a picture of a ruler. Okay, so you could print out one. Yeah. Okay, I think we might have fabric that has uh, like a ruler measurements on it. Okay, I gotta write. I like that fabric. I, that's true. I might have something like that because that's what drew me the most. As soon as I put the Asian paper down, I know I have an Asian floral napkin, and then you know that part came together, but the measurement threw me. Yeah. Those are all then good. You could stitch on the fabric. If you had like some kind of measurement on fabric, you could stitch that on. That's a really good idea. Okay, picture a ruler, stamp rulers on a paper, look for paper with rulers printed on it, or fabric with rulers <laughs> printed on it. That's hard for me to say. <laughs> um, the Tim Holtz, I might have some Tim Holtz uh, rulers and. I think those are all good ideas because that went through me. And someone, she did, the whole like using a watch saying it's a measurement of time. That's creative. Uh -huh. Now, Eileen said, put the queen on it for the ruler. Uh <laughs> put a queen on it for a ruler. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's funny. How about the queen on a watch face? Now, that. <laughs> Okay, that is using your noodle. I was, that's really good. So you're taking this as right, like, Jill, thanks for coming. Like England ruler, like she's the ruler. <laughs> oh, you can't see Jack. There you go. So, yeah, so she would be the ruler. And the ruler is the measurement. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. That looks good on there, Colleen. It does say measurement, but that does look good on there. Yeah. What else? What else is in that pack? This is the the pack that has seventy eight of these. God, I you know I love that pack. I bet there there might be a ruler in there. I see scissors. Oh, would not be funny. I don't remember seeing one. But is well, there's a clock. There's a clock. Oh, that'd be funny. If there was a ruler and I'm like a dummy and I didn't see it. Hold on. There's a trunk. We could use that with the Stamperia. Oh, yeah. There's a trunk. Here, pull out. I want to see what's in there. No rollers. Oh, okay. No rollers, but there's tons of other stuff, that's for sure. Fans and seashells, bird nests, florals. I like the scissors. I wonder if scissors is a prop in here. Oh, it might. Oh, see, that's good to go through for the, and then go see what the prompts are. Yeah. So it's got the pen nibs, birds. There might be a bird somewhere. It might be. I should. That's true. Could you? It might be other ways I can use this. Oh, wait a second. Can I use this to put here? Uh, and maybe after I color it, I'll color it so it blends in better, so it looks, you know, darker. And, and then, then girls just want to have fun. Maybe if I could fit it. That's really tiny, though. Hmm. You could print it out and paste it on. That might be more because I write. I write pretty big. I write. Actually, I write very big. Tom writes really tiny, and I write really large. Huh? Complete. That's funny. Yep. Yeah. Complete opposite. Like they give you these lines to fill out any like, you know, legal forms. And you're just like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm supposed to fit my name on that line. <laughs> Gosh, they think everyone writes tiny. Oh, cool. Typewriter. The typewriter is cool. So you, so what I saw someone did with this, it's a Tim Holtz samples. Is they did this and then they actually had like a piece of paper coming out of it like it cut a slit in here had a piece of paper and had some typed words on here oh cute that's really cute there was something that someone did um that he showed when he introduced these 
and I used the type letter words. Hi, Tori. And um, the umbrella. Red. The umbrella is cute. The bug's not so cute. I'm glad there's only one bug. There's only one bug in here. But there is no <laughs> rulers. But there are 78 of these. So I think uh, figuring out how to color them, different products, and figure out, like, is one better than the other or if, it, if it's a preference. I think that would be a good stream. Could you jelly I love those. Could you jelly plate on these? Yep. You could, because the, the acrylic paint would st would stay on. I'm thinking if you used a... Translucent paint. Mm-hmm. You could maybe stick these down and, and add random colors by jelly plate on them. Like the golden fluids. Yeah. That would be a neat way to add some grunge to it. Yeah. And then, oh, like... Oh, yeah, like that... Uh, those uh, nickel as or gold and all that kind of stuff, yellow yeah. ochre. Now, the things that could be brightly colored, you could use something else, and, yeah. uh, like a flower, a butterfly. You could do something. You could do something else, or get. I think this is this is something I just got from this one. My, That's, I use the purple, the cabinet set. Is this is this very is this light? It looks like it's light. It's light. Translucent. Okay. Oh, yeah. So this, like anything like that's translucent, would work on some of these if you don't want to cover up too much of that. So that'd be that. That'd be so. Maybe if you order these, and we can. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, I want to do that little book. Oh yeah, the little book that was. Um, and I loved. I still think I want to do this too. I still think I want to. Um, think I love the idea of adding additional pages. Now, where'd you get that little book? Uh, the little, this little book I got from Michelle, but I actually got the other little book at Joggles. And okay. I think Joggles and Simon Says still has these. these are, this is his last year's uh, release. Okay. I never, I've never, i never seen that before. Yeah, when they came out with the cute little um, things that we never did anything with. Yeah. <laughs> Folios. <laughs> so we still got to do stuff like that. Yeah, just a few things. But, I mean, you, know, you get them and you're afraid if you don't, they might discontinuing. That's my right. biggest fear, right? If is if they if I see something his, will it be discontinued? And I don't want to miss out. Look, like, they look good on every page I put them on. I, I love don't these think girls. I love these girls and I love these boys sitting here. I love it. Good, good idea. So we mix vintage with faux vintage with handmade yeah hand -dyed paper a little bit of everything in this book yeah that'd be yeah you'll like the book that was a book. i and will go look for that we get these we can play with how the uh, different ways to color these okay are you going to stay on or are you going to kathy's i think i will pop off of here and watch kathy finish the painting i have i wanted to do it for a a garden journal I think it'd be fun to to paint that and incorporate what she's doing into it. That will be fun. Yeah. And also, so Tori and he just got here. So if uh, Kathy Arbor is streaming right now on her channel. And yeah, Red um, Wagon just got here. Uh, Red Wagon. Yeah. yeah. Jump, uh, Kathy Arbor is streaming. So it's oh, Kathy yeah. Arbor. Kathy's link up. Yeah, put that in there. You can go watch her. She's paint. She's painting a watering can, flower pot, a really cute spring uh, painting. And Junk Journal Shop is on selling stuff. And I don't know if, who else is on besides those two. So, there it is Kathy Arbor. Let me see. I'll put Johnny's link. So mostly what we ended up doing, all my plans I didn't do. We mostly ended up looking at Michelle, uh, Michelle Girly Girl stuff and my new Tim Holt stuff is what we ended up ultimately playing with. So, Okay, there's Johnny's link too. And you guys all just right. here. So this is what we ended up doing. This was fun, Colleen. I'm going to get that. I love that. I did too. I thought it would be, it's different. It, 
I like I that the tape up there. It's different than anything he's done. And I love the tape. And it was so easy to peel and stick this on. If we could do this on all of our fabrics, any of our fabrics. Oh, you know what I might do? I might try to make one of those with my drop cloth. Oh, yeah, you could. You could add this to your drop cloth and, and make this. Because, I mean, you can add this to even if you are using it like washi tape, you could, you know, pull strips like oh, this. Yeah, you, could add, you could add strips of um, the material we got. Yeah, you could. I love this. I bought, material. I bought two. I got two of each of these. I knew I would love these as soon as I saw them. Yeah. I got two of each of these. So I, I was like, I, I'm going to, I know I'll end up using these a lot. And um, you definitely only need one of these. There's a ton. Yeah. And, and the triple people. Thanks. The, the multiple people. Thanks, yeah. So all right, I'll talk to you later, Colleen. I'm going to get going. All right. I'm glad you had fun, Carla. And uh, we'll work on some other stuff next week. I'm going to keep working on my girls and stuff like that. Thanks, Joey, who came in. And uh, everybody else is here. Thanks, Kimberly. And then we'll see you Tuesday at 10 a.m. on Kathy Berg's channel. And I'll put uh, the link to her channel in the description. Thanks, Colleen. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.